You know, when I look at that title showing Piglet's big um, crossed out movie game, I thought Tigger was pointing up to that glorious picture of Piglet's ass. But no, he's just waving to us while Pooh and Piglet hide behind the logo very conspicuously. So let's start. It was the food. By the way, if the screen looks a little different, I changed my PS2 settings to show widescreen definition instead of full screen definition. I mean, I don't see any difference, but if you notice a difference, well then there's your answer, so. There was like three options. 4x3, full, and 16x9. It was originally at 4x3, but then I changed it to 16x9, so yeah. Come on, Wabbit needs us. These helpful lumps and woozles are going to go wabbit season on him, so he needs our help. <sighs> Alright, so... Alright, we have a shovel and we have a gear. needed to move many small things a short distance, this is exactly what he would need. What the fuck do we use the gear for again? I forgot. Let's just save the game. Maybe go back into the woods and try to see if... Wait a second. Wait a second. I have an idea. If Just so you know, I have to upload a video right now, and I don't know why, but... <laughs> Ugh, I just feel like using the game capture, even though the audio keeps cutting out, just because it's convenient, you know? I mean, if it starts to get really frickin' bad, then yeah, I'm gonna use, start using Audacity again, but yeah. Hi, Gopher. Forgot you were here. Oh, here. Gears go over here. Ah, there you are! All that remains now is uh, to get the machine running again. Now I'm a little confused. <laughs> but you better hurry up when you do it. A few seconds is all you have because of the pressure system, you know. A few seconds. One, two, three, or it doesn't work. Yeah, push it in my face, gopher. All right. You know what? We need the Clock King to come and time Piglet right now. You know, you have five seconds exactly to turn this machine on. If you go a little bit less or a little bit more, then it will just explode in a cataclysmic explosion that will destroy Rabbit's crops for the season and he'll starve to death. Couldn't have done it better myself. Better go help your friend Rabbit. Save I don't know about you, but I thought the Clock rain. King and his appearance on Arrow in the Flash was really good. I don't know. Very good tactician. I don't know. I keep that's my big thing. I say I don't know. So, by the way, I stopped by Retro Games um, the other day, and I picked up some games myself, which include Star Ocean till the end of time on PS2. Um, The Suffering, which I think is really good, and I know there's a sequel, and as well as uh, another game made by the same company. Uh, Hooray, Piglet! It's working! But I'm still stuck! Huh? Not anymore. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Rabbit was just grinding to a bunch of bits! Never mind. I thought that was his arm or something, but no, it's just a key. Oh, no. The conveyor belt's not running. Uh, Piglet, could you get it running again? Uh, there's a boiler near my tomato patch. Just take the key on the ground. It'll open the door.
Well, anyway, like I was trying to say, other games I bought for myself include um, Mortal Kombat. De uh, yeah, Mortal Kombat Deception. Um, I bought the two other games in that trilogy of platformers that was made by the same guys who made Jimmy Neutron. And um, what else did I get for myself? Oh, I also got Resident Evil 4 on the Wii. I love the motion controls. And... Mm, that's about it, actually. I did buy some more games for Let's Plays, though. I got Scooby-Doo Night of a Hundred Frights in the PS2, which was made by the guys who made The Incredibles, and I didn't play much of it because I'm saving it for a Let's Play, but... I'm kind of optimistic about it, since I hear that it recreates the atmosphere of the show really well. And I think there's another variant of Heffalump over there. And there's two! What's this Heffalump? It's riding on a unicycle, but... Come on! You know what, before he notices us, and... I think that's a robot, but... Um... Other games I got for Let's Plays include the South Park game on N64, which I think is, um, I don't want to say it's good, I don't want to say it's bad, but it's built on the Turok engine, and it reminds me a lot of Turok, so. Um, I also got a Nightmare for Christmas game, which is called Oogie's Revenge on the Xbox, and yeah, I'm probably going to play that after I play Cage 2. Eventually, or maybe even... I don't even know when, but... Um... Notice me! Robots! What are games that I get for myself before the Let's Play? Oh god! Did, were they playing Spanish music there? <gasps> That's kind of racist game. Oh shit. I pressed the wrong button. Arr! Yeah, they are playing, like, some kind of Spanish music. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. Alright, let's see. Robot! What kind of variation of Heffalump and Woozle will they think of next? Damn it. There we go. Dead. Alright, look it over again real quick. What else did I get for YouTube videos? Um, not much, actually. Well, those are, like, the big ones. Like, I really want to do the Scooby-Doo games, and I really want to... Well, the others are kind of an added bonus, but, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't help that the Scooby-Doo games are pretty expensive, but at retro games are pretty reasonably priced, so... By expensive, I mean, like, online, I have to pay, like, ten dollars. I got this one for six. Meanwhile, we do have to listen to the advice of someone who comments on these videos all the time. We have to find cookies, but then again, I keep forgetting. I'm sorry. It's just that... Maybe I'm gonna get Alzheimer's one day. Maybe that's why I keep forgetting. That's kind of, I got kind of dark there, but... Never make assumptions, people! Never make assumptions. Oh shit, of course... Of course, these freaking vegetables or fruit give cookies, but then the ones back there didn't. 
So, okay. I need to get interesting because me trying to talk about some games I bought at a, ga uh, at a retro game store is probably losing your interest. Oh, I forgot! That's also where I bought Rugrat Studio Tour because several people have asked me to play that game, and yeah. I finally got it. I actually got it for free through a buy two get one free deal, but. <laughs> The disc was kind of scratched up, like how my copy of Search for Reptar is scratched up, but thankfully I didn't run into any stuttering or anything. But then again, Search for Reptar is considerably more rare than Studio Tour is, so... Like, seriously, I got Search for Reptar for like 10 bucks, like a couple of years ago, and now it's like almost 20. The key. Piglet has to find the key, that's all I heard. Ho ho! Well, we have to clog all the holes here? No, it's have to pull switches. Okay. What's this doing? Oh, apparently Rabbit kept a bunch of beanstalk beans in his garden. That's lovely. What, are we gonna go up there? We're gonna find a giant poo? <laughs> That's right, Piglet. <laughs> Climb the beanstalk like the brave jack of all trades you are. Kind of stuttered there. Oh my god. We have the fashion model tuba boy over there. Son of a goddamn bitch. Yes! Learn to speak a little Spanish. <laughs> no. Learn to speak a little Spanish, little Frenchie. Fuck. <laughs> You know what? If you're scared of logos or videos or movies or games that feature uh, uh, like a bull or something like that, yeah, you'll be kind of scared of what Piglet does here. All right, now we're gonna scare Tuba Boy. Especially like how we don't have to press as many buttons. So, let's find the cookies up in the beanstalk. Because, yeah, now we're <laughs> we have to do this. Piglet the Giant Slayer. Make that into a movie, Disney. Oh, but you don't want to do 2D movies no more, so yeah. In fact, that's the big thing. The 2011 Winnie the Pooh movie was not a big box office success. In fact, it was like this close to being a box office bomb. Like, it just barely made back its budget. Well, for one thing, I don't remember many advertisements for Winnie the Pooh. Like, they were advertising Frozen and Wreck-It Ralph up the ass. And Tangled. And all their other 3D movies. But Winnie the Pooh, they just kind of quietly released in theaters last I checked. And... They released it the same weekend as the last Harry Potter movie. Did they really think that was a good decision? Bottom line is, I think they were just looking for a reason to retire 2D animation. But that's my opinion. That's my take on it. Now there's like, and I got, I gotta say, because Disney seems to only want to do 3D yeah, movies now, there's like nothing to set them apart from Pixar, you know? Like, Disney was the 2D boys, and Pixar is the 3D boys. Now they're both the 3D boys, so it's like, what's the fucking difference? Oh, Pixar movies aren't musicals. Whoop-de-doo.
What, is that upcoming Zootopia gonna be a musical? I don't think so. So, <laughs> I don't even know if I wanna go see. Disney apparently has two movies lined up this year. I don't even know if I wanna go see them. I don't even know, well, Pixar has Finding Dory lined up. I, I don't know if it's gonna be that good, but. Wait a sec. Oh, I got a crank. <laughs> oh my god, Resident. This so wait, we're not encountering a giant up here? That's... What a wasted opportunity! Getting caffeinated. I need to get caffeinated, that's what gets me go that's, that's what gets me going. All right, we are we already got all the cookies in there, so we don't have to get them. Now, can we look at the map and see if we have any more cookies? Hmm. Hmm. Looks like we don't. Then let's progress onward. Oh wow, the woozles are back. <laughs> Seriously, these, these this scare is pretty easy to pull off. <laughs> Just like killing hunters in Resident Evil. Speaking of which, I'm probably going to do Let's Plays of, Re of the Resident Evil games eventually because I made a Resident Evil 4 a joke staring around Resident Evil 4 last time, and then one of the guys who commented said, Yeah, you can play Resident Evil 4. That game's great. You know what? I would love to do a Let's Play of the Wii version. Too bad I got to play the other games first. I got to do Zero, the original, Two, Three, Code Veronica, and then I can do Four. So, then after that, I can do Revelations, I can do Resident Evil 5, I could do Revelations 2, and I can end with Resident Evil 6, because that's as far as in the timeline as we got. Umbrella Core doesn't count, because that's multiplayer only, but, well, Umbrella Core is not out yet. So, do we use the crank over here? I would say so. I love how the shovel is like the first thing we found and we have like no use for it. God, I didn't like... I I never thought I'd like Dr. Pepper so much, because when I was a kid, I freaking hated Dr. Pepper and root beer. They were the only sodas I wouldn't drink. Then eventually, one day when I got off with working with my dad in high school... Up, oh, robots! Um, I was just home by myself for the weekend, since nobody was there. And we had nothing to drink but Dr. Pepper, so I pulled out Dr. Pepper and I tried it. And surprisingly, I tolerated it. Like, I was able to drink it a little bit, little by little. But over the years, I've come to really like it, I gotta say. As for root beer, well, I got to try it on a lunch break a couple of days later. Nope, still hate it. I don't know about the rest of you, but I hate root beer, even to this day. I could barely keep it down. I did not finish the can. 
Wow. Up oh, shit. My lip Alright, let's kill this robot, and then we're gonna stop. Alright. Nice. I like how the robot sound effects continue until wait. I like how the robot sound effects continue even after it already died. But, alright. We'll see if we can save rabbits carrots in the next video. For good.